Hey girls and guys, it's Presley. So several weeks ago, I just got finishing watching Marvel's What If on Disney Plus and I thought it was the coolest television show or series. I thought it was the coolest thing ever. So after a while, I got myself thinking while I was at work, I was like, you know what? Maybe I should get like a little, maybe I should, you know, do some drawings of cartoon characters and do like what if scenarios. Like we already know this happened, but what if this happened? So a week ago, I got myself um, a drawing pad or a sketch pad, if you want to call it that. So I can, you know, draw myself some what if scenarios of different cartoon characters. I only did their faces, so. And um, I brought it at work so I can, you know, have some free time because there are some days at work where it's pretty slow at the library and there's not much to check in and stuff like that. So all I do is just draw until some work pops up. And I've worked hard so far at the library. So if any of you guys were wondering that. So anyway, on to my drawings, shall we? So I'm showing you guys my drawing pad on the floor because... I don't know if I have enough room for whatever I have because it's not like filled to the brim, but I'm I'm pretty sure I don't have enough room to film uh, my drawing pad on here. So instead, I decided to put it on the floor. So hope you, hopefully you guys are cool with that. So this is my drawing pad on what if cartoon theories. So the first one. is what if Daffy Duck was on drugs? He looks high as shit. <laughs> Next up, what if Jerry never messed with Tom? He would just be a sweet little angel. Well, mouse, because he is a mouse, but just cause. Next up, what if Popeye went to war? Now, I know Popeye is like an old, old cartoon, but I just want to throw that in there because just because... I thought it'd be pretty cool and, you know, a little dark, you know. All right. What if Marge cheated on Homer with SpongeBob and they had a kid? Golly, it looks like Marge fused with SpongeBob or something, but I try to make it accurate to if they had a kid. I know Marge, um, their kid doesn't look like square like SpongeBob, but hey, close enough, right? Got the eyes and the and the holes and stuff. Next up, what if Eeyore had insomnia instead of depression? I know this one is kind of the same thing because when Eeyore is sad, he looks tired, but this would make a lot more sense if he was a lot more tired this way. So, next up, what if Gary the snail was a girl? It probably wouldn't change anything that much. Oh, well. Next up, what if Bunny from the Powerpuff Girls was normal, you know, instead of deformed when she was originally created and stuff? That would be a lot more interesting. And out of all the drawings so far, this one is definitely my favorite. Next up, what if Vicky from the Ver Fairly Odd Parents, excuse me, was emo? Everything would change. She probably wouldn't mess with um, Timmy that much. Who knows? Next up, what if Pluto could speak instead of Goofy? I always found that a, a bit weird. You know, Goofy is a dog and he's walking on two legs and he's best friends with Mickey and Pluto is Mickey's dog and he's on four legs and he can't speak. I found that pretty weird. So what if he could speak instead of Goofy? Who knows? Next up, what if Candace was an only child and she would just imagine Phineas and Ferb? That would make be a whole lot different. She would probably be considered as insane. Who knows? It's my theories after all. Sorry, someone's mowing the grass. If it's too loud for y'all, if it's too loud, then someone's mowing the grass. So just ignore that. 
What if Teen Titans Go never existed? Now, out of all the shows that I hate as a kid, it's this one because it is so just rouse me up. I just can't stand this show. So it would be a much better place if Teen Titans Go never existed. Next up, what if Eustace was nicer to Courage? That would make things a lot easier for Courage, in my opinion, because Courage has been through so much shit. He's been traumatized by different creatures, and he's been abused by Eustace. And um, Muriel just keeps hitting him in the head with, with her purse. He's like, what did I do? You know damn well what you did, Eustace. You know damn well what you did. Hang on, let me get this other page. There we go. What if Shaggy had a psycho twin brother? This would not end well for the mystery gang, in my opinion, because I'm pretty sure they wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Except me, because, duh, I drew it. (laughs) And I... To keep in mind before I continue on with these drawings, I drew these free-handed. No tracing, no anything like that. I did these free-handed. What if there was a sixth emotion named jealousy? You know, from inside out and stuff like that. I mean, I know it would be the same thing as disgust, but I thought it would be a bit more different. You know, just to spice things up a little bit. If there was a second Inside Out movie, if there was a sequel, and there would be another emotion when Riley's going through puberty and stuff like that. What if Pua adventured with Moana instead of Hey Hey? I always wanted this pig to go with Moana, but after one small little boat accident, Pua was like, hell no, I'm out of this bitch. <laughs> so... <laughs> Anyway, I liked that pig in the in Moana. I thought I thought it was pretty cute. Next up, what if Bruni from Frozen 2 was a lightning spirit and Anna had fire powers? There were so many theories of Anna having powers in like the Frozen 2 and stuff like that, but she never had any powers. So It would be cool if Anna actually had powers, make her feel special and stuff like that. But it's just my theory. A film theory. Just kidding. (laughs) Next up, what if Jesse was the main character instead of Woody in the first movie? I know Jesse was technically a main character in the first, in um, Toy Story 2, 3, and 4. But It'd be cool if she was introduced way early on in um, the Toy Story franchise. So I thought it'd be pretty cool. And I decorated her hat and clothing a little differently than usual. So I thought it would be cooler. You know, I thought it'd be pretty awesome. What if Stewie Griffin had a really bad sunburn? He would just be a bitch crying to his mommy, Oh, Lois, I got a sunburn. Please take me to the doctor. It burns so bad. I can't do a Stewie impression. I'm, I'm, I'm not really good at impressions, but hey, this is all I can give y'all. So, I thought this one's pretty good. And lastly, what if Tinkerbell was a dark fairy? I know there's no such thing as dark fairies in the Tinkerbell universe, but... It would be cool if dark fairies could spread chaos and, you know, scare children. Stuff like that. I thought it'd be pretty awesome. And, uh, that's all, folks. That's all I got. So that is everything from um, my drawing pad and my little th- film theory. Sorry it took so long. I just wanted a, I wanted to give you guys a little explanation on everything. And um, yeah, my film skills with one hand is pretty shaky because I don't have my tripod. So sorry about that. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this long video. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that jazz. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.